make this appeal to all our Muslim brothers and sisters in Lagos State to please ensure that the observance of the season is carried out in a manner that is in compliance with all the health directives that we have laid out to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. In keeping the rising curve of the infection at the back of our mind, the only people that should be out and about at this period are those who absolutely have to be out. Everyone else, like we have said, should please stay at home. For those who have to go out, please ensure that you wear a mask and you maintain appropriate fiscal distancing. Still on the matter of essential movement, I would like to speak concerning funerals. One of the outcomes of the lockdown is that many families and households have had to postpone funeral plans for their loved ones who have passed away before or during this period. As you might all be aware, many Christian denominations do not carry out funerals during the Lenten season. Funerals are typically kept on hold during this period and scheduled for the period immediately following the end of the Lent. Unfortunately, this year, the COVID-19 lockdown coincided with the end of the Lent season, which caused many families and households to further suspend or put off their funeral plans. Because of this inability to hold funerals, occasioned by the restriction on movement, our mortuaries in Lagos State are now getting to the peak, and there's a need for us to have a decongestion. Let me make it clear that these are not COVID-19 death in any form. I'm also now constrained to make this appeal to all Lagosians who have corpses of their loved ones in our mortuaries to please go ahead and schedule these funerals. Let me now make it clear that funerals are on the list of activities exempted from the lockdown restriction. You can hold or attend your funeral ceremony in Lagos State as long as you comply with the requirements that we have laid out. If we are unable to see a decongestion of the mortuaries across the state within the next two weeks, Lagos State Government will now be compelled to seek to have a mass burial. And we don't want to force this on anybody, which is why we're asking for the cooperation of all of us in exercise of my powers confined on me by section 212 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. I have this afternoon, following the recommendation of the Advisory Council of Prerogative of Mercy, signed a release order releasing 209 inmates reminded in our various correctional centers in Lagos. This was done in part to decongest the correctional centers in view of the COVID-19 pandemic, and is also part of a larger effort to bring lasting reform to the administration of criminal justice in our country. The beneficiaries of these releases are the following. Some of them are over 60 years old. Some are, have less than six months to go on their sentences. Some have served over 95% of their sentences. Some that are serving for just minor offenses and some that are found to be physically or mentally challenged are part of the, the list of um, the 209 that have signed the order for their release.